All right, what is up, homies? As you can see, I got a new tonneau cover from my Tacoma. Want to give a big shout out to Yida Mortars for sending this out to me. Uh, I'm gonna do a review on it. This uh, this particular one is for a six foot bed, but they do make them in different sizes. And this is a roll up kind. They also make a folding kind. Um, I like the roll up one. You'll see why it works out really well. Um, it's really good quality. As you can see, it's already working. It rained yesterday, and it just kept uh, all the rain out of the out of the bed of my truck. So, um, yeah. So let's get this party started. Boom. So we got some frame rails right here. All right. The other thing I want to show you are these things right here. These are uh, tensioners, so you can adjust the, the tightness of your cover. Um, there's a bolt right there that you can loosen up, these two and you can uh, or loosen up this and you can move it back and forth so you can adjust the how tight your cover is all right so let's try to put the cover on now um, I'm glad I didn't tighten this, tighten down the bracket yet because you do need a little play here you know you can move it forward and there's this um, there's this piece right here that needs to go inside this uh, inside the uh, frame rail so let me show you what I'm talking about okay so there's this piece right here that needs to fit inside of this and um, I already put the other side in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this rail forward and then slide it back in because I can't really move this back and forth I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. There we go. So now I'm in, and there, there's actually a bolt that you can tighten uh, to keep it in place once you once you get it in there. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it actually is, is touching, so it's not going to go forward anymore. So what I would do is I would want this to be as far forward as possible so you don't get any water and stuff getting in there. So try to get it right where you're... Uh, be, uh, bed rail top thing starts at like right here yeah right there and then again there's a little bolt that you can tighten up it's right there so we're gonna tighten that up and lock this in place and then uh, adjust this side Alright, so we're right at the edge. And then over here, it's looking pretty good. Comes right to the end of my bed rail. And uh, yeah, we should be good. Let's, um, you might actually be able to, might, yeah, I was going to say take the top caps off, take these off, but I don't think it's necessary. 
So let me lock in those two bolts, the one over there, the two corners, and then we'll pick it up from there. So I just want to give you a quick uh, tip here. When you're tightening up this bolt, this Allen bolt, they actually give you a little wrench to tighten it up with. Start it off uh, this way, and then once you get it down tight, um, then you can turn it sideways so you can really lock it in place and uh, tighten it up good. So there you go. Now we should be able to roll it out. Okay, I'm a big dummy, and that's what I'm here for, to make mistakes so you don't have to. So on the Tacoma, the bracket doesn't actually slide inside like you would think, because it has a nice little notch there. There's actually a hole underneath that this slides into, and it prevents it from sliding. There's uh, another hole here, there's one in the middle, and then there's one at the end. If you put it at the end, you're not going to be able to put your cap on, which I'm okay with. Um, and then you're going to want to lock this in place just like you did the first time. Um, take the screw out. And uh, yeah, this is actually a little more secure because this piece isn't going to slide around. Then you can drop your screw in there. And I was wondering why this screw was so long. I'm like, why is this screw so long? It doesn't need to be so long. But the bottom part actually locks in here to prevent it from spinning. So you don't need to you don't even have to hold it, it'll be held in place like that. So now that this is locked in place. Let's check our alignment. We'll get in the front. Now I can just tighten it down. There we go. Now it's locked in tight. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. So this is gonna go underneath, and there is a hole right there. Let's slide this over so you can see the hole. And this little notch is gonna go inside that hole. And this is gonna drop in place. So this is uh, the way you install it on a Tacoma. This is a uh, generation two Tacoma. And, um, you're going to want to push your bolt up so that way this one locks in. And then you can just tighten it up. Just like that. Make sure that's uh, in there good. Inside that lip, and you should be good. Is that actually has a lock on it, well, a latch, not a lock, but if you pull this handle, it releases a latch on the corners over here. Um, yeah, so there's a cable, and then it pulls on a latch over here, which releases it. So you can't you can't lift it up unless you pull the handle. So once you pull the handle the other hand you can lift it up let's see how my gate closes oh by the way they even give you a free light <laughs> so you can mount this put a little sticky pad mount this on the inside of your truck and see what they also give you some extra bolts 
just in case it was like this. Okay, let's see how it goes. Boom. There you have it. I mean, from this angle, see how it fits. You can see how it fits there on the side there. It is straight, you know, so your truck bed actually curves out. Well, this part is straight, but the, the cap um, curves in here towards the end. And then on the edge here, you can see how it lines up perfectly with the edge of my um, tailgate and actually sticks out past it a little bit. So the rain's not gonna, it's gonna, you know, run off this way. And then this side, same thing. It goes past the edge of my um, bed. So the rain will go off this way, fall in between the truck bed. There is a gap right here though. Um, about the size of uh, maybe two fingers, two small fingers. Um, so what, what is that? Uh, about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. And I think that is because of the cap here. You can see this is about three quarters of an inch high. So if this was not on there, it would, it would lay even lower and give you a tighter seal. Cause you can see, you can see there is a gap here as well. Um, they do give you a roll of foam that you can um, you can put in there. Um, if it was me, I probably will adjust it and move it back this way a little bit farther, just so it can, you know, cover up this gap here. And then also, you can see uh, the edge of this, you know, can probably come back, but. This needs to, I mean, there is a gap right here. And again, I think that's because of the um, these caps right here. So maybe if I took these off, it would lay a little bit lower. I just don't know if I can take those caps off and if it'll impact my bed liner. So, I mean, but besides that, there it is there, it's super tight. So yeah, tell me what you think. Here's a side view. I think it looks buttery. All right, so that's gonna be it for this uh, install video. Um, everything went pretty smoothly. I had a couple hiccups here and there just cause I didn't know what I was doing. And the instructions weren't that clear. Um, they're very generic for, you know, basically any truck. You kind of have to figure it out for your truck. So hopefully this video helped you for a Tacoma and getting it to fit correctly, making sure the brackets are in there installed correctly that was the biggest um, hiccup that I had is I, I made a mistake the first time putting the brackets on didn't correctly. so um, I think it's awesome there is a latch it does latch in here so be aware of that with the handle you can unlatch it and in the back make sure you put the um, lock it in place let's see how it looks when I roll it up and see how easy it is to roll up lower your gate Pull the handle down, unlatch it. Boom, you got your straps right here. So if you need to cover, carry something that doesn't fit underneath, boom, there you go. You can roll it up, put your straps here and you're good to go boom you want to undo it take off the strap take off this strap and go at it make sure you get these in here locked in place again you can unlock it with this it did come with a roll so you can put this up at the top help seal it in a little bit better but other than that there you go get yourself a battery in this and put that in there help you see at night that's what it looks like inside all right so overall I can't say enough um, this 
really work out nice. Really like the way it looks on my truck. Uh, fit really well. The only uh, other change I would say is I would probably um, take off these bed rails so you could get it to fit nicer, but you don't have to do that. This particular one is the, um, and it's called Odro brand. You can see it right here. It's got this nice little tag on it. And, um, but yeah, so again, another big shout out to Yuta Motors for hooking it up. Highly recommend it if you want to really good also check out the description there's a discount for 15 percent off where you can get one for yourself and let me know what you think leave me a comment i'll be doing some more upgrades on the tacoma i'm going to put on that grill i talked about decided i'm not going to paint it i'm just going to leave it black just see how it looks like that um if i decide to i could just take it back off and and paint it but for now that's it for this video peace don't forget to like and subscribe homies